Okay, this etude for the week. Basically going to have you play the same thing four times in a row here before going to the other phrase. Uh, got a new chord being played each time the phrase repeats, so this way it sounds interesting. So let's play this at some uh, different percentages here. Let's play it at 50% speed. Here we go. <laughs> Let's go to 80% next. Just focus on the lead first. So as always, set this to whatever tempo works best for you. Yeah, just same thing that we did the last two times. We're just starting on the D string now and starting with the open D string and working our way up each mode uh, one at a time. So here we go. you arpeggiate oh god that looks terrible hold on there 
going to have you arpeggiate these to make sure everything rings out properly. So you may need to spend some time just getting used to these chords without playing to the file because, well, they're new. So we're going to be covering all this stuff more in depth eventually as we get, you know, progress more and more throughout uh, chords and everything. But basically, this is like bare minimum notes to make these chords. So like D minor chord, those are the three notes that you need, D, F, and A. So you've learned this shape, you've learned a couple. So like that right there, yes, that's a D minor, and it's still only three notes. D, A, D again, F. So it's a voicing of the D minor. It's a voicing because the notes are not going like in order. It's like in order would be the D, F, A. But we are going D, A, D again, and then F. So that's that bar chord you learned. And that's another A if you play all five strings. If you do it like this, D, A, D again, F, uh, a and D a third time. So you got two A's, three D's, and one F. But all you need is that, and you got yourself a D minor chord. So that's what's going on here, just bare minimum stuff for these chords, working our way up. We changed strings at one point. I was going to have you go all the way up here, but I was like, yeah, that might be too tiny. Frets might be too small for right now. Don't want to push it too much. Uh, so yeah, we do switch up to the D string for our root notes when we get to the B diminished chord. So yeah, we got your D minor. And basically everything is going to start with the pinky and end with the index finger. So either your middle finger or your ring finger is going to be on the middle note. Um, it changes a little bit when we get up to the D string for the root notes, but... For the A string root notes, yeah, we're gonna do like this. So you got your D minor, E minor is the same shape, F major, now we have the ring finger down instead of the middle, G major, same shape as the F, but A minor, back to the same shape as the D minor and E minor. Now the B diminished, we go up here to the D string, it looks the same as the E as the minor chords. It would look different down here. Yeah, it's going to look the same as the minor chord you just did. And we got um, this C major next. So here you're going to go third, second, and first for the C major chord that starts on the D string. And then finishing with the D minor. So here what I want you to do is ring fingers on the 12, and then you're going to bar the 10th fret of the G and the B string for that D minor right there. So, let's run through that. Any questions come up, let me know, and I'll see you again next week.